Hey everyone, it's Johnny here again. Um, today I'm going to do my poison um, 7 inch singles, 12 inch singles. First of all, we're going to start off with Talk to See to Me. And this came off of um, Look What the Cat Dragged In. And um, this one is on Music for Nations. And this one is on Capital. Um, both came out 1986. Uh, this one obviously definitely did. Um, and I'm assuming that's not a reissue or anything. But this one is on catalogue number KUT125. And this one is on catalogue number. Is that ST12523? So there's the front covers, and then there's the back. I'll put that one there first. You see that? There's that one. Uh, so this side B on this one is want some, need some, and that one doesn't actually say. Let's have a look inside. And uh, yeah, it's want some, need some. So this is the um, this will be the American one, capital. So there's the B side, and there's the A side. It even shows you the time there for the songs. Whereas on the um, UK ones, they don't show that. This one's Music for Nations, so this one was done in, I think it's 96 Enigma, is it not saying? No, it doesn't say. Oh yeah, it's manufactured in the UK, very small print down there. So that's the UK one. So that's uh, Talk Dirty to me. It's the only two I've got. And then uh, we'll go on to Your Mama Don't Dance. Well, I've got these two. Standard issue, these are the CL523s. And uh, these came out in 1988. Tearing down the walls is the B side. So there's the A, this one's going to need a little white, but this is um, CL523, so the number's matching. And um, this is an American one, I think, or USA recording. I don't know if that's. Let's look at the record a minute. It's on Enigma, capital Enigma. So I think that's actually, I think that's an American one. Well, it doesn't say anywhere else. So, and then this one is identical, same silver label inside. And then I'm going to show you the same one, but I've got two of, two of it again, but green vinyl. And this has um, got uh, tearing down the walls on B side still. And um, in here, these are on CLS 523s. So that's that, so that bit there on the back. And then inside, let's get this vinyl out and have a look. Um, so CL five two three is on the vinyl as well. So it's the same as the label, uh, the sleeve. And you've got tearing down the walls on that side. 
and uh, your mama don't dance that side. And that one. This one's actually a UK one. Just give it a minute. Just double check what the other one is. It's identical otherwise, everywhere else. Let's see what it says on there. Yeah, and that's a UK one as well. The next one I can show you is um, the same song, same record, um, but it's on 12 inch. And um, there's the other 12 inch I got. And uh, these have got the special limited edition um, green vinyl, 12 inch. They're on 12 CLB 523 catalog number. And the Your Mama Don't Dance is on side one, just there. And then Tearing Down the Walls and is on side two, along with Love on the Rocks. And this is from 1988 as well. And um, this is a UK one as well, I think. Yeah, it is, manufactured in the UK oh and there's something else there's a poster that comes with it as well so a quick look at the poster so you've got it's more of a banner than a poster so you've got poison actually quite long so yeah all the way along there it's really cool and then this side a lot of the band shots on stage and not one cc what's that this is what I like about having the actual um, product instead of you know obviously at the time we didn't have downloads but um, even now I would sooner go out and buy a single than buy a download because you've got all this sort of stuff really cool stuff to look through right so that can go over there and the other one is identical as well Right, the next one I'm going to show you is um, Nothing But A Good Time. And then we've got Standard Issue there. And this is from 1988. And it's um, single 006. It's uh, catalog number is 225547. And then on the um, side B is... Um, Actually, it doesn't say. <laughs> Let's have a look. Look, but you can't touch. And uh, is on side two. And um, this is actually a German one. Yeah, this is German. Just there. And it actually, he's got a capital sort of very lightly through. You can just see it. Through there, I don't know if you can. Can you go this way? The actual label. I didn't realise, I didn't even notice I had a German one. Right. The other one is um, this one here. And it's got a double sided poster bag. And this has got, um, yeah, it says nothing but a good time. And then on side B is look, but you can't touch. Um, and it, what else is this? CLP 486 is the catalog number. So there's the back. And then, so have a look inside. 
So there's nothing but a good time there. And um, I'll show you the poster. <laughs> right, another cool little poster. What's that? And then on this side, it's got the band members, Brett Michaels, Ricky Rocket, um, CC Deville, and Bobby Dole down there. And that's that one. The next one I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna do oh no I've got nothing. I've got um another sorry <laughs> nothing but a good time. And this one's it's this one. It's on Capital. Uh catalogue number is CL five three nine. And this one, let's just check. It's actually got a different track on it. It's got um on side two it's got living for the minute. And um, let's have a look inside. If I can get the sleeve off. Hmm. It comes sometime today. Right. <laughs> it's being pretty stubborn. Right, so we've got the front cover, then we've got the back, and then it's on a capital white label, uh, CL539, and this one is actually from the UK, so it's nothing but a good time, and living for the minute is there. Living for a minute is a song I didn't even realise was a um, different track and not, I've not actually heard it. So I'll be putting that on after. That'll be really cool. Right, we're going to do um, another 7 inch. And this is one very well known. And it's Every Rose Has a Thorn. And um, these are both on CL520. Uh, they both are pretty much identical and um, back to the rock and horses side B so we got that and this that's the other side inside is every rose has a thorn there and back to the rocking horse that side and these are the UK ones I'll just check this is what it says it is yeah it is the UK one right I'm going to do an every rose has a thorn but we're going to do it on um We've got a seven inch here again, um, which I put with a 12 inch by mistake. Um, but it's a picture disc, which is pretty cool. We'll take that out. And um, take it out again. <laughs> uh, so this is on CLP 520. And um, B side is back to the rocking horse, and um, this came out in 1988. There's the back, and uh, yeah, pretty cool picture disc there. And then we can go on to. Actually, the first single of Poison I ever brought. Um, I think I still have it. Actually, you know, these might be replacements. But this is the actual first 
single I heard of theirs, uh, which came out in 1990, and um, the first one I actually went out with my own pocket money and bought. Uh, so yeah, we've got these two. Um, we've got Side A Swamp Juice so, so, Solo, <laughs> if I get that right, and uh, on Skinny Bop. And then Side B is Valley of Lost Souls. And then, yeah, like I said, 1990 this came out. It's on Capital, catalogue number CL528. Sorry, 582, get it right. And um, that's the uh, Mabel, that's that side. And side, I say it was, side 2B, Valley of Lost Souls. And this one is uh, UK as well. Just double check, this one's got the right vinyl in it. And uh, yeah, that's a UK one as well, exactly the same. Right, we've, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go onto this, uh, is it 12 inch? Yeah, 12 inch. And it's uh, so tell me why, and um, it's a gatefold, twelve inch with a red twelve inch in there, and it's got um, signed up here. Obviously not um, directly by the band, but obviously copies of their signatures, and um, it's got the lyrics to the song there, and. Uh, this is pretty cool, I like this uh, a lot, This how they've done this packaging. So, let's go. So this is a special collector's edition 12 inch red vinyl. Includes live versions of On Skinny Bop and Ride the Wind, plus giant collar poster, which I'll show you. This came out in 1991. So let's get this thing out. Um, Let's do the vinyl. So, side two is that side, and so tell me why on side one is just there. Another cool, um, cool vinyl. Um, right, put that back in there. So. Let's get this poster out and have a nose what this looks like. If it will come out. It's being as stubborn as the vinyl. <laughs> I, I don't think these have come out very often at all. I've certainly not taken this one out. And um, this one's going to be quite a big poster ish. Right, so we've got the. Um, We've got the band, and then we've got on the other side, just like that. And then we've got one more single to do. Um, I've got it on. 7 inch and I've got it on I think this is 12 double check yes yeah, 12 inch and it is I'll do the 12 inch first poison until you suffer some fire and ice and this is on capital the uh, catalogue number is let's see where it is 12 CLP 685 this came out in 1993, so, and this is the one with uh, Richie Cotson on, and not C.C. DeVille. And this one is limited edition white vinyl, uh, with free giant collar poster, featuring the previously on, unavailable acoustic version of Stand. And, uh, so look at this. So, I like what white vinyl, it's pretty cool. So, is there side one 
and um, side two has got stand and until the acoustic mix I mean uh, until you suffer some of fire and ice ice mix is on that side as you can see there and side one which I've just shown you has got until you suffer some fire and ice and strike up the band and then we've got a poster another big poster This is only one sided. Okay. Quite a big one, the best one, not. What's that? one seven inch just there and this is this is actually a picture disc and a special limited edition double sided I think double picture disc so we've got until you suffer some fire and ice there and then side B this side I'm looking at now is until you suffer some fire and ice and um, Bastard Son of a Thousand Blues. So. And um, here's the sleeve on the back. So you've got, yeah, there's two tracks. I thought it was three, but it's actually only two. Um, and this came out in 1993. And. Um, yeah pretty cool so um yeah cheers for watching my poison um vinyl collection um i will have to do a record one at some point so um keep rocking and uh thanks for watching subscribe like comment whatever you want to comment about and um or give me some information on what you think some of this is worth maybe. Right, cheers, see ya.